Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament, 111 days, we're on day 50, and today we'll be reading more 1 Chronicles and a bunch of Psalm. So let's get started here in 1 Chronicles 15. And David made him houses in the city of David and prepared a place for the ark of God and pitched a tent for it. And David said, None not to carry the ark of God, but the Levites, for them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God and to minister unto him forever. And David, David gathered all Israel together with, to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites, and the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren, 120. And the sons of Merari, Asiah the chief, and his brethren, 220. Of the sons of Gershom, Joel and the chief, Joel the chief, and his brethren, 130. Of the sons of Eli Zephan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren, 200. Of the sons of Hebron, Eli the chief, and his brethren, fourscore. Of the sons of Ezeel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren, 112. And David called for Zadok, and Abiathar the priests, and for Levites, for Uriel, Asiah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Aminadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites, sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and Levites sanctify themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with staffs thereon, as Moses commanded, according to the word of God, the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries, and harps, and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice of joy. So the Levites appointed Hemam, the son of Joel, and of his brethren Asaph, the son of Barakiah, and of the sons of Merari, their brethren Athan, the son of Cushiah, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, Jazil, and Shemarath, and Jehiel, Uni, Eliab, Benaiah, Messiah, Mathathiah, and Eliaphel. Mekaniah, Obededom, and Jeel, the porters. So the singers Hamam, Asaph, and Ethan were appointed with, to sound with the cymbals of brass. And Zechariah, and Azil, and Shemaramoth, and Jehiel, and Uni, Eliab, and Messiah, and Benaiah, with psalteries on Alamoth. And Matathiah, and Eliapheh, and Mekaniah, and Obededom, and Jeel, and Aziah, with harps on the Sheminith to excel. And Chenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed above about the song, because he was skillful, and Barakiah and Elkanah were door creepers for the ark. And Shebaniah and Jehoshaphat and Nathaniel and Amasai, and Zechariah and Benai and Eliezer, the priests did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God, and Obededom and Jaya were doorkeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains of the thousands went to bring up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obadiah with joy. And it came to pass when God helped the Levites that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen and all the Levites that bear the Ark and the singers and Chenaniah the master of the song with singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord with shouting with sound of the cornet and with trumpets and cymbals making a noise with psalteries and harps. It came to pass, as the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michal, the daughter of Saul, looking out at, out at a window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. First Chronicles 16 So they brought the Ark of God, and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord, and he dealt to everyone of Israel, both man and woman, to, and to every one a loaf of bread and a good piece of flesh and a flagon of wine, and he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and to record and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief, next to him Zechariah, Jehiel, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, and Eliab, and Benaiah, and Obadiah, and Jeel, with psalteries and with harps, but Asaph made the sound with cymbals. Benaiah also and Jazahil, the priests with trumpets, continually before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on that day, David delivered first his psalm to thank the Lord into the hand, into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Yeah. That's uh, that's a good verse right there. 
if you seek the Lord, we should be rejoicing and, you know, singing psalms, giving thanks, you know, even in today's world, we should be giving thanks. That's another good one right here. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. What a great verse. Remember his marvelous works, and he hath done his wonders in the judgments of his mouth. When you see of Israel, his, his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac. And hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law unto Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When ye were few, but few, even a few, and strangers in it, and when they were went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, show forth from day to day his salvation, declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among the nations. For great is the Lord, greatly to be praised, he also is to be feared above all gods. Little g meaning they're not real gods, they're just devils. For all the gods of the people are idols. Mm -hmm. But the Lord made the heavens. Amen. Glory and honor in his presence, strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth, the world also shall be stable. That it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the man say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Amen. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice in all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, Save us, O God, of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for ever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Man, those are great verses. All those verses are just amazing. I love Psalm. Uh, and you can see some of Psalm in First Chronicles, which is interesting. So he left there before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, Asaph and his brethren, to minister before the Ark continually, as every day's work required. And Obededim with their brethren, threescore and eight, Obededim also the son of Jedithun, and Hosah to be porters. And Zadok the priest and his brethren, the priest before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord upon the altar of burnt offering, continually morning and evening, to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel. And with them, Hamam and Jedithun and the rest that were chosen, who were expressed by name to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy endureth forever. Amen. And with them, Heman and Jedithun with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of God. And the sons of Jedithun were porters, and all the people departed every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. Man, there's so many great verses in this, but... Um, you know, I, I love these two here. Glory in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. If you're, if you're seeking the Lord, then rejoice, because you know that God uh, is with you always. And then the next part, seek the Lord and his strength. His strength, not our strength. Seek his face continually, continually. Every day we wake up, we need to seek his face and seek the Lord and his strength, right? Proverbs 3.5, you know, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. We don't need to lean upon our own understanding or try to understand everything. We need to lean upon God and his understanding, and his timing, and his way. And even the next part, uh, Proverbs 3.6, in all the ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. What does that mean? Acknowledge him. In all their ways, acknowledge him. Everything you do in life, everything, acknowledge him. Bring forth uh, everything to him. All your decisions bring to him. Lean upon him. So that's why I really like these two verses. So, All right, we have a bunch of psalms to read. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth at the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. 
The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the ways of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 2. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saint. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. I love the second part of this verse. So this would be like B. Part B of Psalm 212, or Part 2. Um, it's just amazing. It's so simple, and it's straight to the point. Blessed, blessed are all of us who put their trust in Him. Him who? God Almighty, obviously. So, you know, every day when I say, trust in the Lord, keep trusting the Lord, you know, wait upon the Lord, you know, trusting in the Lord means you're blessed. And sometimes it's harder than, uh, some days are harder than others when you're, um, you know, trusting the Lord, but maybe not with your full heart. Remember Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all. God wants us to be on fire for him. So use your fire and just increase your trust fully. Uh, and, and that's easier said than done, I know. But you just have to make that decision in your mind. Am I trusting fully in God right now in this situation that I'm going through? Or am I not? And if you're not, think about all the verses in the Bible that tell you that you should. God knows better than us. God is God Almighty. So we shouldn't second guess or doubt. We need a firm foundation uh, and complete trust in Him. All right? So, blessed are they who put their trust in Him. Love that part. Proverbs 15, a Psalm of David. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, and whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to ushery, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Psalm 22. To the chief musician upon Ajaleth, Shehar, Psalm of David. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me, and from the words of my roaring? O oh God, O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitants the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted in and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and they were delivered. They trusted in thee, and they were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man. O approach of men, and despise the people. All they that see me laugh to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord, that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Yeah, that's true. Think about this for a second. When trouble is near us, there's only one person, one, one, uh, only one person, one spirit, one being, that's God, who can help us. Um, you may think, oh, I'm going to, you know, trust in my riches, I'm going to trust in my wealth, I'm going to trust in this person or that person. And you very well could trust in those people. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying that there's nobody greater that can help you but God alone. So, it's important to realize that. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped me upon me with their mouths as a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones out of joint. My heart is like wax, is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a pot shard, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of the earth death. 
The dogs have compassed me. The assembly of wicked have enclosed me. They pierce my hands and feet. I may tell all my bones they look and stare upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. If this is sounding familiar, by the way, this could be, a lot, of, a lot of scholars think that this is referring to Jesus Christ. All these things come to pass, right? Um, they uh, pierced my hands and feet. They parted my garments, cast lots upon my vesture. So this is also implying that this is Jesus Christ here, um, you know, prophecy of Jesus Christ. Be not thou far from me, O Lord, O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation, while I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him, and fear him, all ye seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. So this is another great verse. There's so many great verses in Psalm. If we seek him, they shall praise the Lord that seek him. Yeah. Amen. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship him. And they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. The seed shall serve him, and shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come, and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born, that he hath done this. Psalm 23, Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Hang on a second, I gotta say this. Uh, people love Psalm 23, like the whole thing. But I think, you know, the very important part, uh, if there is such a thing as, you know, because the whole thing is important. But this first part is literally, in my mind, the most important. Like, you could just stop here and boom, that's it. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. Plain and simple. If the Lord is for us, the Bible says the Lord is for, is for us, who can be against us? And it says the Bible that, you know, God will never leave us nor forsake us. Uh, and he knows what needs we have before we even know it. So that's why we shall not want. There's nothing in this earth that we can want when we have the Lord as our shepherd. Because we know that shepherd takes good care of his flock. He is our good shepherd. He will not leave us stranded. He will not leave us starving or anything like that. He will take care of us. So that's why I think that this verse, 23.1, is probably the most important. If you actually fully understand the the magnitude i would say of it it has it's very short and sweet and to the point but also it, you could dig deeper and find so much to this one simple verse the lord is our shepherd we shall not want plain and simple he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen to that. Psalm 24, Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that clean, hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. The King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Psalm 47. To the chief musician, a psalm of the sons of Korah. O clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto the God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. 
He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Selah. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even to the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Amen. Psalm 68. To the chief musician, a psalm or song of David. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. God setteth the solitary and families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved to the presence of God, the God of Israel. Thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein. Thou, O God, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee apace, and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though ye have lain among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow and salmon. And the hill of God is as the hill of Bashan, a high hill, as the hill of Bashan. Why leap ye, ye high hill? This is the hill which God desireth to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Thou hast ascended on high. Thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts of men. Yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Amen. Or Selah. And Amen. Because that's a great verse. Blessed be the Lord, who daily, daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Yeah, uh, every little thing, every good thing, the Bible says, uh, is from God. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord belongeth the issues from death. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such as one that as goeth on still in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my King in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye God in the congregation, even the Lord, from the foundation of or, excuse me, from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Natali. Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought for us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of bulls, the calves of the people. To every one submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises unto the Lord. Selah. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy place. places, and the God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. Psalm 89. Meshil of Ethan, the Ezraite. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever with my mouth while I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shalt thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Selah. And heaven shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. O Lord God of hosts, who is strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee? 
Thou rulest the rage in the sea, when the waves thereof rise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered the, thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world, and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong in thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are thy habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted, for thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, the Holy One of Israel is our King. Then thou spakest in the vision to the Holy One. And said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant with my holy oil, have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep from, for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever in his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I will visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I and not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness that I will not lie unto David, his seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as faithful witness in heaven. Selah. But thou hast cast off and abhorred, Thou hast been wroth with thine anointed. Thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant. Thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Thou hast broken down all the, his hedges. Thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries. Thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also turned the edge of his sword and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth hath thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. How long, Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is, wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth, and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Said La. Lord, where are thy former loving kindnesses, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants. How do I bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people? Therewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord forevermore. Amen and Amen. Psalm 96 Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord, all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods and nations are idols. The Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also should be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful in all that is therein. And then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord he cometh. For he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Psalm 100. A psalm of praise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 101. A psalm of David. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, I will sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, and shall not cleave to me. 
A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person who so privily slandereth his neighbor. Him will I cut off. Him that hath a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eye shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. And Psalm 105. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him psalms unto him. Talk ye of his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham his servant, ye children of Jacob his chosen. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, Will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance? When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land, and he brake the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. And he made him lord of his house, and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure, and to teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He set, sent Moses his servant, and Aaron whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness, and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood, and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also in their fig trees and brake their trees of their coasts. He spake and the locusts came and caterpillars and that without number. And did eat up all the herbs of the land and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also the firstborn of their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud out a cloud for covering to fire to give them light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out, and they ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant, and he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness, and gave them the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Okay, some great verses. Um, and we see, what was it, Psalm 101? No, actually, it was Psalm 105. No, it was 101. That's similar to First Chronicles. Similar. But, um, yeah, I like these verses. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. I actually like this one, too. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. So, you know what that verse is telling me? Remember his ju the judgments of his mouth. I, I feel like that's to do with the, his promises, his word. His word, there's promises in his word, there's judgments in his word. Uh, so we need to remember that. Also, we need to remember um, all his works. Think about all the things in the Bible, all his works in the Bible. And also think about what he's done in your life specifically. So, very important verses. So, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, and noon, wherever you're at. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him, trust in him, wait upon him, be in the word daily. You'll never be sorry. And God willingly, we'll see you tomorrow with more Bible reading. So thanks again. Take care and God bless.